Right now, throughout this uh, prom season, the piano is featured extensively, and we're about to embark on the first of two piano concertos, or concerti if you prefer, in this first night program. Shortly, one of the greatest living pianists, Stephen Huff, will be playing a piano concerto by Tchaikovsky. Not the famous number one. Tonight, it's going to be concerto number three. So while they're heaving the piano to centre stage, uh, we have a chance to meet Stephen Huff. Well, the piano is really the only instrument in which you're totally self-sufficient. It's a bit like one of those caravans that everything's built in, the shower, the cooker, and you just drive off and you're there. I've never lost my attraction for and excitement, indeed, by, you know, by just the sound of a chord ringing in the air. I come from a home with absolutely no music at all. I had an aunt who had a piano, and we would visit her, and I was absolutely fascinated by this um, box in the corner of the room. And so I would go over and I'd try and play nursery tunes. I learned a lot of nursery tunes. I memorized, apparently according to my mother, around a hundred of them. And I was trying to sort of play these on the piano, begging my parents, please, can I learn the piano? So eventually they did buy a piano from a local antique shop for five pounds. I started piano lessons with a local piano teacher that my mother just found from the Yellow Pages, really, just the one who lived closest, like you'd find someone who could mend your vacuum cleaner. I think growing up as an only child, I had a good preparation for the life of a concert pianist because I'm alone. On a plane, on a long journey, or in a hotel, it's guilt-free time to read, to write, to think. I quite like on, on planes, sometimes an hour will go past and I'll just be letting my mind unravel in, in weird directions. And I think out of some of these have come some of my blog posts. It's partly just the humour of everyday life, the unintended things, but not just putting the photograph up, but finding a link. I like that in life. I like that in music, too. I like performances which surprise, without being self-conscious about it, um, but which just unfold in directions that, that you never expected. What's so wonderful for me about the piano is that you're working against its nature, because by nature... <laughs> It's a percussive instrument. It's many instruments in one. The piccolo is at its height up here, and the contrabassoon is at its height down there, and the piano has it the whole thing and ten of them all at the same time. What couldn't you like about that? 